today we are going to catch, clean, and cook some cuscaron. Stay tuned. We start today's adventure by taking a hike along the riverbank to our favorite fishing spot. Finding bait is the next step. Earthworms is an excellent bait for catching cuspera. Cookie, the newest member of our adventuring team, is on the lookout to catch a fish. The other members of the team get their fishing poles ready. The first fish is caught by Shouwen. And another. Cuscarum is the most common fish found in the Trinidad rivers. It is a member of the cichlid family. This is what a cuscarum looks like. Tilapias are also members of the cichlid family. They are not found naturally in Trinidad. They were introduced here as a measure to control the mosquito population. Cuscarab fishing is great fun and one of the activities that young people share in the countryside. Cuscarubs has golden fins and black spots on their thighs. They swim in Trinidad fresh water alongside tetras. River fishing is an excellent pastime for the young people of Trinidad and Tobago. And since we are a tropical country, we have fishing year-round, since the weather is warm year-round. Cuscarab is considered a traditional food in Trinidad and Tobago. It is also great as a survival food for when camping or outdoors. Satish has caught another cusper up. The technique is simple. Place bait on the hook. Place the hook in the water Wait for a bite and then pull. Another fish for the bucket. This is the average size of the cuscarum found in Trinidad. They can grow to twice the size if they find perfect conditions. It's time to clean and cook 
some of these for dinner. We start the process of cleaning the custard by removing the fins. Using a scissor to remove the fins is one of the easiest ways to do it. After removing the fins, it is now time to remove the scales. You can do this by using a knife as shown here. Now that the scales has been removed, you can place the fish into a bowl of water. Squeeze a bit of lime into the water. This will prevent flies from being attracted to the fish. You can repeat this process until all the fish has been thinned and scaled. Cleaning these fish may seem difficult, but it's very simple, especially with practice, you get better at it. After squeezing some lime into a bowl of water, we can now start to gut the fish. Hold the fish with the underside facing upward. Carefully cut along the length of the fish. open and remove the gills as well as the gut. Clean and wash the insides thoroughly. Then place the fish into the bowl of lime water to soak. After all the fish has been gutted and soaked, it is time for the final process, which is to scrape the outer skin to remove the pigment. This will help to improve the flavor of the cuscara.
wash and rinse the fish thoroughly. Add salt. and some freshly browned seasoning. Mix well and leave to marinate for a short period of time.